New research is showing us that a simple vitamin could hold the key to protecting millions of people from the irreversible blindness caused by glaucoma. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, a board-certified and a fellowship-trained refractive and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. And in this video, I will break down new and potentially groundbreaking research that explores the potential of vitamin B3 or niacin to revolutionize glaucoma treatment. If you would like to learn more about glaucoma in general, you can check out this video. So what is vitamin B3 and what makes it so special? Vitamin B3 is one of the water-soluble B vitamins. It is known as niacin, which is actually an umbrella term for several different related molecules, including nicotinic acid and nicotinamide, as well as related derivatives such as nicotinamide riboside. Vitamin B3 is naturally present in many foods, added to some food products, and available as a dietary supplement. Nicotinamide is a form of vitamin B3 that is found in foods including fish, eggs, cereal grains, poultry, and nuts. So why do we now think that vitamin B3 might benefit glaucoma? Well, studies have shown that glaucoma affects the mitochondria in the retinal ganglion or nerve cells in our eyes, making them not work properly. These mitochondria are crucial to retinal cell function and survival and act as the power generator for the nerve cells in our eyes, performing oxidative phosphorylation and beta oxidation of fatty acids, in addition to several other important functions. This means that in glaucoma, the cells aren't generating the energy they need and eventually they die. Nicotinamide plays a key role in supporting this mitochondria so that cells can stay healthier and work for longer, preventing vision loss. When vitamin B3 is absorbed into the bloodstream, virtually all tissues in the body convert the absorbed niacin into its main active form, the coenzyme known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. NAD is a crucial coenzyme in the body, catalyzing more reactions than any other vitamin-derived coenzyme. It is no surprise that NAD is crucial to the proper function of mitochondria, which depend on these reactions. So the idea is that increased vitamin B3 leads to the increased levels of NAD and improved support of mitochondria function, which in turn results in less retinal cell death due to glaucoma. So what have studies shown so far? A 2019 study from France examined blood samples of 34 patients with glaucoma and compared them with the blood samples of 30 patients without glaucoma. They found that patients with glaucoma had significantly lower levels of nicotinamide in their blood than those who did not have glaucoma. A study published in JAMA Ophthalmology in 2021 found that given patients with moderate glaucoma supplements of vitamin B3 along with pyruvate actually improved visual field results. This is very important because most current treatments for glaucoma, including laser treatments, eye drops, etc., rarely improve visual fields. Rather, their goal is to prevent further vision loss. I believe the explanation for this exciting finding is that nicotinamide supplementation appears to support and rescue the mitochondria of certain optic nerve cells and retinal ganglion cells that are injured and are not functioning, but not yet dead. By rescuing these endangered cells, the patients achieved some visual improvement at the edge of the visual field. Of course, we would not expect cells that are already dead to respond to supplementation, so most of the vision loss from glaucoma will not return. However, it seems that with vitamin B3, there can be some degrees of improvement around the edge of the visual field. Most of the studies to date have been fairly small, but there are several larger, more long-term trials currently ongoing, including a study from Sweden's Karolinska Institute and one out of the University of Hong Kong, one based out of UCL, Institute of Ophthalmology, and Moorfields Eye Hospital in the United Kingdom. And an international clinical trial by the Center of Eye Research Australia. These studies will helpfully help determine whether nicotinamide can be beneficial to people living with glaucoma in the long term. If you are considering taking vitamin B3, please consult your ophthalmologist before starting any medications to determine whether it is right for you. High dose supplementation of vitamin B3 at doses that have generally been used in research studies, which is often as high as one to three grams per day, does have some risks, including low blood pressure, insulin resistance, 
liver damage and macular edema, a buildup of fluid at the center of the retina. So unfortunately, it is too early to recommend vitamin B3 supplements to all glaucoma patients at this time. Hopefully, in the next few years, as more and larger studies will come out, we'll have a better idea of both the efficacy and safety of vitamin B3 supplementation for glaucoma, and we'll be able to customize treatment for each individual patient. Although high intakes of vitamin B3 from supplements can cause adverse effects, it is important to note that no adverse effects have been reported from consumption of naturally occurring niacin in foods. So it should be safe to naturally increase your vitamin B3 intake through your diet by eating a diet rich in sources of vitamin B3, including fish, nuts, and poultry. Although not specific to the eye, research has shown that getting enough daily exercise can help maintain the long-term health of your mitochondria as well. Also remember that even if vitamin B3 supplementation does eventually become standard, it will be an adjunct only. It will not replace the important glaucoma treatment prescribed by your eye doctor. If you want to learn more about the best foods and which vitamins are most important to protect your eye health, you can watch these videos. If you have learned something new, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel to support more informative content on eye health and surgery. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.